Welcome to Sean the Cigar Guy. So today we're going to be smoking the H. Upman Anejo. So this cigar, it is a Toro size. It is a 6x54. The wrapper has an Ecuadorian Habano. The binder includes Pennsylvania Broadleaf. And the filler includes Nicaraguan, Dominican, and Honduran tobacco. So definitely looking forward to lighting this up. I've actually had the cigar in my humidor for at least, I would say, almost a good three or four months. So definitely looking forward to this. Definitely is a very cocoa-y aroma onto the outside of the wrapper. A very interesting, still has that cocoa-y aroma onto the foot, but definitely has like a very interesting aroma. It almost reminds me of like uh, like an Andy's mint. It's got a little bit of a random mint aroma. Very interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this cigar a cut. I'm gonna do a shout out to my friends over at Hellacious, Dean and Jen. And use their condor cutter. I have right here. And I always like to put this down at a 90 degree angle. This way it kind of has some better leverage. There we go. All right. A nice smooth cut right there. Same similar consistency. Uh, definitely getting a cocoa-y like flavor onto the cold draw onto this. So very nice, kind of a tight draw a little bit, but not bad. All right, so temperatures outside, mostly in the mid 50s today. Blue skies, not too bad, a little chilly, but it's gonna be warming up a lot. So it's gonna be warming up again. And I know the last time about, you know, a couple weeks ago, we had temperatures around the, uh, the 80s. And uh, we're expecting temperatures back in the 80s again this week. So it'll be nice, it'll be a really nice change again. And uh, get back into spring mode. All right, so let's go on out there and let's go light up. All right, since we get some wind out here today, I'm gonna be using a torch. Decided to change things up with my torch. I couldn't, uh, I think I accidentally left my triple torch and my quad torch down in my car. So I figured I got two torches out here. I decided to use my Cigar Rights of America, my CRA torch today. Give it a try, filled it up just a little bit ago. So we had some wind, it might be a little bit more difficulty to uh, go ahead and try and light up with a match. There we go. That's a nice initial lighting right there. Look at that nice white ash right there. Really unique. Nice ember to it. Really good. It's a really nice taste onto this cigar. Just wow. Try some coffee with it. It's got a nice mixture of flavors immediately. It's very smooth, it's not too strong. It's, I would say it just starts off right there in the middle when it comes to flavor profile. Uh, definitely taste a, um, immediately one of the interesting tastes I get, it's kind of like a, uh, almost like a floral note onto this cigar immediately. Um, Floral, earthy, grassy, really nice. A little bit of cedar, definitely gather that, some cedar.
very smooth. That's some good construction so far. It has a little bit of sweet, yeah, almost like a sweet note to it. All right, so cigar review time. So overall, the cigar has a lot of complexity, but didn't change too much in the flavors. So the flavors stayed consistent all the way through from the beginning. Uh, the construction to the cigar stayed very well, held up really nicely. The flavors mostly remained around cedar, floral notes, earthy notes around it, a little bit of sweetness. So really did really well. On a scale of zero to 10, I would give the cigar a pretty good 8.8. So really good solid cigar. Not exactly outstanding where I imagined it to be, but still really good. Um, I definitely recommend this cigar. It's something that if you see it in stores, give it a try. Most stores usually carry a lot of H. Upman. So this one right here, H. Upman and AO, 1844, great smoke. All right, so that's a review. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and please feel free to comment and have a wonderful day.